Hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be uh, part two of this battery charger actually in action. It's the Black & Decker 25 amp PCDM. Uh, skips around a lot. It doesn't stay stable at one. At one volt or one amp I should say. Kind of skips around. Uh, the percentage meter was really fluctuating when I first plugged it in. I probably should have plugged it in while I was recording. Everything seems to work. Uh, actually nails it with a little bit over 25 amp. It went to 25.3 at one point. Seems like the amps are, are starting to settle down too. Uh, first try with it. Everything works. It's got a fan in the back. If the fan kicked on automatically, it kicked on right away. Right away. Uh, sit here and watch it for a while. That's, that's what it does. I wonder why it doesn't stay stable with the amps. Maybe it's... Let me just burn the battery a little bit. So far so good. It's working. I don't have to send it back. The fan just really kicked on. The fan went higher and it dropped the 0.4 amp. Why did it do that? Well, then it kicked back on again. Must be trying to figure out where the battery's at. Maybe that's how it senses what type of battery it is. Let's do a battery voltage. We're going to hit this battery voltage and I should be able to switch. Okay, good, it beeps. Uh, it's saying 13.4 pushing in. My inverter's saying 12.9. This was all the way down to 12.3. I was down to about, eh. 70% took a long time to kill this battery bag. These batteries are good. Oh man, they produce a lot, they hold a lot too. They stay pretty stable. Still 12.9. Oh dang, I hit 25.6 there. It's definitely charging it, and I was at 50%. Now my other meter said I was at 70. I'm gonna have to remember that. That that meter is off. Either the meter's off or this is off. I'm gonna go by this. Doing our thing, that's for sure. Been going two minutes and a jump from 50 to about, looks like 60. Come back when it's about 70. We'll see how she does. And another thing that I wanted with this is to, if I lo ever lose shore power, okay, and the shore power gets turned back on, I wanted a charger that would automatically start back up without me hitting the button. And my first test I did, it worked. I didn't even hit the charge button at all. I haven't even hit it. I just hooked everything up and I let it set about a minute and the charger kicked back on, which is nice. So, one good thing about this is uh, I don't have to hit the start button all the time if I lose shore power. If I'm gone from the RV and I lose power, it already selects what battery that I need to charge. That's what I wanted. I wanted it fully automated. And it's doing everything that I've wanted it to do. Now, we'll just do a test to see how long it takes to get 40% back into this battery at 25 amp. I'm sure there's a math, some type of math thing you could do. I could probably figure it out, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to watch it. So far, so good. It's not hot. Uh, I don't know exactly where the fan comes out. I don't want to move it yet. Once it's charged, I'm going to take it out and see where that fan's at. It might be on the bottom, but see, I'm sitting on a grate, so everything stays cool down here. Where is the fan? It seems like... Okay, there's the fan. The fan's on the side here. Oh, everything's falling on me. Bump it. Fan's on the side. It's a pretty big fan. Uh, well, it sucks it through. I can feel the the air coming through here. That's nice. So it's got a very good flow right over the, all the circuitry in there. Very nice. Very nice. And they didn't chimp out on the fan. That's a pretty big fan. But uh, 
We'll come back when it hits 70%. Let's time it here. What time is it? 6:22. So we'll see. We'll see. So far, so good, guys. I mean, see how hot she gets. Not too hot. Not too hot at all. But it's only been on for five minutes. It's getting a little warm right here. Right about here, it's warm. Underneath isn't warm. She's still jumping around. This is a lot better than uh, that hit my batteries with 12 amps. A lot better. It's not showing what state it's in though. I thought it was supposed to show what state. I'm going to jump back in the directions and see why. Huh. Because I'm hitting the battery voltage, you're supposed to, maybe if you hold it. No. I'm going to let it go for a while, keep an eye on it. Uh, I, I want it to show what state of charge it's in. I'll be back. Okay, it doesn't show the first step. This is the first step when it's when it's really nailing it with the ampery. After the first step, then it goes into the uh, to the next one, which is your float. We'll go into the float, and then it'll show that FO4, and then uh, when that's done, it'll do its last step, I guess. Keep watching it here. I'm still at 60. I'm uh, checking these wires. Like I said, these are one of my videos. These are two odd cables. They're not going to get hot. I also pulled the fuse to my solar. I don't want to put too much. It's only a 20 amp charge controller at 100 watt with two panels. So I pulled the fuse so it doesn't backtrack up into there. I don't know if the charge controller can handle that going back into it. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm not going to fry my charge controller. Uh, I'm whenever I get this box done here like I had said in my other videos there's gonna be a switch to shut all this off uh, right on the box itself probably on the back side to shut my solar off and, and a giant off switch to turn off going to the inverter and there will be another one for the batteries coming in so far so good nothing's hot nothing's hot uh, well, these are a little warm. Yeah, this cable's getting warm. It hasn't even been on that long. It's pretty damn warm. Warmer than my uh, comfort level on leaving it alone to trust it. Let's hope it doesn't get any hotter. Of course, I am charging two batteries. A 25 amp, that thing should be able to charge these batteries with ease. With ease. We're gonna let her go. Keep an eye on the heat here. Oh yeah, they're they're getting warm. Really warm. They were they're warmer than uh, than my other charger. That's for sure. It's kind of a concern of mine. Uh, keep an eye. I mean, they're warm. They're not hot. I mean, I can touch them. They're not gonna melt. But they're definitely getting warm. I'll change these wires if I have to. I'll break the box open, void my warning, because I don't want to fire. It's definitely warm, though. My uh, my negative is warmer than my my positive. It's uh, it's, uh, so we hit seventy. We hit seventy percent. That's not bad. It hasn't even been charging for 10, 10, 12 minutes maybe. Maybe 15. Nope, drop back down to drop drop back down. Huh. Keep an eye on her. It's pretty hot in here though. We got 87 degrees. That's probably why everything's getting kind of hot. It's pretty hot out today. Yep, I'm kicking back in 87 degree weather. I don't mind it. 
heat never really bothered me. I worked in forgeries and all kinds of stuff. Forges, not forgeries, forges. It's very hot, 120 degrees. It doesn't bother me. Uh, jumped up from 12.4 to 13.1. I got a lot of stuff running too right now. I, I cranked on a lot of stuff to see to see what she'll compensate for. I'm sure she'd be charging a lot faster if I didn't have all this stuff on. Anytime I'll run a battery charger, I turn everything off and let my batteries charge. But this is kind of an experiment, guys and gals. Hopefully more gals are watching than guys. But anyway, <laughs> just a joke. 13 one inverter's running great. She's jumping up a little bit. I hope you guys can see it on the screen. You should be able to. Of a glare. I think you are going to get a glare there. She's a. Uh, sometimes it's cranking 25.7 amps into that battery, so they're a little generous. They give you a little more. Uh, heat heat's the same since I've started it up, and like I said, I just showed you the temp, and it's, it's 87 degrees in my camper right now. Are so good. She's skipping though right here. It's jumping from 50 to 75. If you can't see that, I hope you can. I'm not doing this for nothing. Maybe I'll angle it. Maybe down that way. Maybe down this way. I know I got a glare. Let's try that. I hope that comes up. There it goes. Okay. I'll just bring it a little closer. Nothing's blinking. She's definitely putting the amps in though. It seems to be... It's not skipping around as fast as you were to plug it in. So the machine is actually... It's testing that battery. It knows what to do. So far, I'm impressed with this battery charger, and I'm charging two batteries, 225 amp hour AGM batteries. Two of them, not one, <laughs> two. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'll come back when she almost gets to 100. Nothing's getting hotter. It's about the same warmth. The heat is rising up the cord though. That's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen because the copper is gonna go. It's gonna go. Uh, uh, the cord's pretty warm. That cord is really warm for my comfort. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn everything off and uh, see if she charges up a little better. She's holding it at 75 now. So I'm not. I know I'm not running 25 amps. I know that for a fact. Uh, this is what the watchdog's pulling in. It is about 470 because if you subtract my uh, my converter, which charges my two house batteries up front, which is a totally separate bank, uh, I'm getting a little voltage. That's right. It's probably because it's so damn hot today. He he tricks with things, but I'm going to turn everything off. That's what I'm pulling. It's, it's 470. It's definitely 470. Because my refrigerator, if my refrigerator was on right now, if my refrigerator kicked on, I should say, it'd be about 900 watts. And I'm pulling 5.3 amp. Isn't that crazy? I pull 5.4 amp because this is on line one. This extension cord is coming out of line one. Nothing else is hooked up to that line. But yet I'm cranking out that much you know I mean that's oh you can't even see it oh boy that sucks anyway I'll come back to it that, the charger says it's still skipping around between 24 and 25 so I'm using 5.3 but yet that thing's cranking out 25 amps huh I wonder if I hooked that up to my inverter charge my battery through the inverter. I wonder how long it would last. How long the cycle? Would it kill the batteries faster? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's with it off. Everything's off with a couple LED lights. Oh, I hope you can see. I'm still going to post this video even though you, you can't see that meter down there. There it goes. I can't tell through my screen. 
I turned everything off and it's staying stable right at 75 percent still kicking around here this thing is definitely generous it's more than 25 amps that's that's nice that's that's, that's good and, uh, I turned everything off and I jumped up to 13.2 on the inverter so let's give it a little bit I gotta charge my camera anyway it's gonna die on me there's a, there's a nice screen there right there that's what she does That didn't take long once I turned everything off. It went to, it, it, it went to the flow. Uh, the fan kicked down a little bit. The cooling fan for the unit itself. The cables are still hot though. These cables, they're, they're still hot. These cables are still way too hot for my comfort level to leave them alone, but they're not as hot. So if I, everything's off and I'm not pulling anything from the battery bank, I think it'll be okay, but they definitely cooled down. They're not as hot. And she's at flow. Sweet. It works. Uh, it's at 100% too. It did kick down because this thing's moving. Now I need my AGM batteries to go up to 14 volts, not 12.9. Not I don't know if I like that idea. I want 14 volts going into them. Maybe because it's flow. When it's charging, it'll go up to 14. No, it only hit 13.2, and then it went to the flow. Nine. All right, they're charged. Uh, not too bad. I started at 6.22, and it charged my battery banks at a state from from 60 to 65 percent to 100 percent, and it is now 6.55. Not too bad. I think I'm happy with this charger. I think I think I did a good buy. Now, I'm going to turn everything on. I'm going to end the video. Thanks. Subscribe. I'm going to turn everything on and see how it maintains it. But uh, I wish I could see the amps. I wonder if I hit this. And that just shows volts. Doesn't show the amps inside the battery though. That's okay. That's right. I got testers for that. All right. That's good. Oh. There's one of my pharaoh kitties. I have four kitties around here. I only feed them once a week. They might run, but uh, they take care of my mouse problem. I can never get close to them. There's one of them. They just appeared someday, and I said, I'm gonna use you. I don't mind cats. There's one of them. You can't get near them, though. There's a couple other ones. They do a good job. I only feed them once a week. I keep them hungry so they get everything around here. Living by the vineyards there, you get lots of mice. I don't have one mouse in my RV. They sleep under my RV when it's raining until I open the door and then they run. But, uh, there you have it with the battery charger. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, I'm happy with it. Let's see durability. If anything happens to it, I'll post another video on, the, on it. I'm going to turn everything on again. And see how she maintains with, with uh, what I use mostly during the day. Computers and meters and everything else. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I hope you learned something. So far, it's not a bad, it's not a bad buy. Uh, later. Have a good day. Catch you in the next vid.